saving with Shay. Um, I wanted to do a video talking about um the Walmart um well Walmart cash as well as using Walmart Pay. I just posted my Walmart video. And I got a lot of you guys asking questions about it. I do have a video up showing you how to use Walmart Pay, but I figured I would go ahead and do an updated one for you guys. Um, and what I want to do also in this video is I want to be able to give you guys um, a tutorial on how to use Walmart Pay and how to access um, the um, Walmart Cash and then um, how to use it as well. So next time I go to Walmart, I'll try to get some clips recorded um, for that. But as far as Walmart, the Walmart app or using Walmart Pay or accessing the uh, coupons through our for Walmart cash, you do have to have a Walmart account. To use Walmart Pay, um, you're gonna go to your Walmart app. At the very bottom right, you're gonna click accounts. And then you're gonna click wallet, my wallet. And then you're gonna go down and click Walmart Pay. That's how you get to the Walmart Pay page. Now, sometimes you'll have a pop-up um, when you first go into your app. There's the option to use to click Walmart Pay from that from that page as well. All of the registers have a QR code on it, whether it's um, self-checkout or whether it's with an actual reg uh, uh, cashier. Um, and then you're just going to scan that QR code, right, from the Walmart Pay um, option. You'll, then you'll get a pop-up um, that'll give you the, the option to choose your payment method. If you have a payment method on file, you can either choose that, or if you have gift cards on file, you can choose that. And then, of course, if you want to um, use Walmart Cash to pay, that's an option as well. All right, once you click that, once you make your choice, it'll then there's another option. I think the option is um, um, pay now or something like that. Um, and so it's super easy though using Walmart Pay, you guys. Um, I remember back when stores were not, um, you know, letting me scan the gift cards from my phone, I would have to add my gift cards to the Walmart app and then pay through Walmart, um, Walmart pay. Um, but I haven't had that issue in like forever. And so that is how you use Walmart pay. Um, the thing with using Walmart pay though, is you don't get a printed receipt. If you pay 100% of that through Walmart pay. Example, so if you have a card linked to your, um, on your Walmart app, and um, you click Walmart Pay, it's going to charge that form of payment um, your balance, right? It's not going to print your receipt because 100% of that was paid via um, Walmart Pay. Now, if you want to get a receipt, and this is like the biggest tip, if you want to get a receipt, which um, a lot of us use rebate apps, um, we need to have a physical receipt. You want to pay some portion of your total out of pocket like you want to put a quarter in. I always say put a quarter dime nickel whatever dollar in there first then you scan the QR code with your Walmart pay and it'll charge the balance all right um and so then yes you're gonna get a receipt printed which is what you want right that's basically it with Walmart pay all right the other thing is Walmart cash so Walmart Cash is powered by Ibotta, right? All of the rebates on Ibotta um, coincide with the offers on the Walmart app, all right, for Walmart Cash. With Walmart Cash, um, you go to the app and you click on, you click the box um, or activate the offer, and then you go and you make your purchase, all right? It has to be activated prior to purchase all right that's key um i know one of you guys mentioned that you use the card that's linked to your walmart app and you didn't get it um i only know to pay with walmart pay because you know for sure um again the biggest thing is making sure that you activate the offer prior and it pretty much almost immediately um credited to my walmart account which is cool like it was pretty quick and then when you want to use it, 
again, use your Walmart pay and then for form of payment that you want to use, you just click Walmart cash. All right. Um, it's pretty easy though. Um, I want to say that the thing I like most about it is that it gives you the option to, um, do the deal more than what Ibotta allows in a way. So like, let's say, um, you have an offer and you've done it on Ibotta already. Let's just say for some reason it doesn't reset. Some offers don't reset on Ibotta. A lot of them do reset, but some of them don't reset. So let's just say this offer did not reset for you. Um, but you see that it is available um, for Walmart cash through the app, through the Walmart app. You can, you can benefit from that again. I absolutely love that. Like this week I did the acts through Ibotta and I did it through getting back Walmart cash. I did it both ways. Now, the thing I also like about Walmart cash is that it carries the same rules and limitations as Ibotta. So if the limit on Ibotta is five for a particular item, the limit for Walmart cash is also five. So I did the ax, I grabbed two, I did get back $6 through Walmart cash. Um, I got back the same amount that I would get back on Ibotta. Now with Walmart cash, it is considered a manufactured coupon, so you cannot use a coupon with it. I have not tried, I can't tell you if it would work, but um, the Walmart cash offers cannot be stacked with a manufactured paper coupon, all right? Now you can um, submit that receipt to in another app though. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but as far as stacking a paper coupon with it and being able to earn Walmart cash, you can't. Another thing with Walmart cash is that if you return something, if you return something um, that you earned um, Walmart cash with, I believe they just reverse it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they reverse it if you've already pulled it out. I'm not really sure, but you, yeah, you can't claim the reward and then return it. I was actually really excited to, to try out Walmart Cash. Um, I found it to be really easy. Um, I love that it's it shows you on the app which items qualify. As, as long as you activate it prior to purchase, you're good. Um, and then you can use it um, to pay for other purchases as well. And you can cash it out at the Money Center. I believe it's either $20 or $25 you can cash it. I want to say $20 because I bought us cash out minimum is $20. But I haven't tried that yet. I'm just going to use it for other purchases. I'm going to um, throw in some clips of, again, how to use Walmart Pay, how to um, earn Walmart Cash, and how to use Walmart All Cash. Right guys, so, so I was in the middle of editing this video and wanted to um, do a little bit more digging for more questions that you guys might have. And so I've kind of put together a little list of things I did not cover in this video yet. All right, so the first question is, do the offers reset? And the answer to that is yes, they do. Um, I did do the acts and it did reset for me on um, the Walmart app. The other thing is when Ibotta pulls an offer or it expires, it is also pulled from the Walmart app as well. Now, if it's an offer that you have on your list, it will remain on your list, but it will no longer be within the Walmart app. Another question is, do the offers expire? Yes, the offers expire. They expire when the offers on Ibotta expire. So it's always good um, to check it prior to purchase just to make sure that the offers are still valid, but they do expire. So let's say you are checking out and you totally forget to scan your um, the QR code for Walmart Pay. You can still submit your receipt up to seven days after purchase. Only thing is I'm a little um, unsure of how to do that. It said from the... Um, Walmart cash page you're supposed to link submit receipt or something like that I I can't find that it says something tool I can't find it I'm not sure if adding it to um, your purchase history does that but it does say that you can submit your receipt for an offer up to seven days after you purchased it and I believe that has to be um, on the condition that you activated the offer prior to purchase as far as returns um, if you return something that you earned on Walmart Cash, um, they do reverse the charges. If it's something that you pulled out already, it will um, make your account negative. And then, of course, once you use it again, it could bring it current, but um, it can become negative if you return something that you've already earned cash on. Um, as far as cashing out, the minimum amount is $25 that you can cash out. 
um, you do that at the Money Center. Basically, um, you go into the Walmart Cash page, you click Cash Out, it'll send you a, um, a barcode. You go to the Money Center, they scan that barcode, you show identification, and it generates a card. Um, well, the barcode generates a card um, that they scan, and then it, it allows you to, to um, take the cash out. Okay. Does the Walmart Cash expire? No, it doesn't. Um, and what else? I'm trying to think, or is there anything else? Can you earn and use uh, Walmart Cash within the same transaction? Yes, you can. If you have to return a product that you um, bought using Walmart Cash, that amount, I believe, it goes back to you within 24 hours. Um, I couldn't really find much on, um, on the Walmart app. I asked one of my favorite cashiers, and that's what she said she thinks it, it does within 24 hours. Um, it reverts back to Walmart cash. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else um, as far as questions. You know, you can always check the Walmart app under um, Frequently Asked Questions. That's where I got a lot of my information from. Other than that, you guys, I'm going to toss in a few clips that should be helpful. If you find anything at all helpful in this video, definitely don't forget to smash the like button. And I will see you in the next video. All right, so using Walmart Pay. Um, for starters, we're gonna scan our item and then we're gonna put in um, something small, quarter, dime, nickel, penny. Um, this is gonna be um, the way that we're gonna get a receipt. So we'll put that in first. We're gonna pull up our Walmart app and then we're gonna scan the QR code that's on the register. Um, it's gonna connect with our Walmart app and then it's gonna um, pop up your option to pay. So you get to choose how you wanna pay. If you have gift cards there, you can choose that. If you have um, Walmart cash, you can choose that. If you have a debit card, that's an option as well. So I'm just gonna click pay. And it's as simple as that, you guys. Simple, simple. Um, I'm doing this today in self-checkout, but you can also do this with the regular registers as well. Just remember, if you want a receipt, throw a coin in there first before you click that um, QR code. So you want to pay using your Walmart cash. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hand the cashier penny, quarter, dime, nickel, whatever first. Um, then we're going to scan the QR code, all right? And then for payment, instead of just pushing payment, we're going to switch it to Walmart cash. As you can see, I have $11 there. It's going to cover the cost of my Airwick, which was only six bucks, um, which is perfect. Um, and it's as simple as that. Now, if you don't have enough Walmart cash to cover the cost of your item, it's going to basically take what you have Walmart cash and the rest is going to be charged to the card you have on file. So you can do partials. I did do that today. And other than that, this is super easy. All right. So you need to find your claimed offers. We're going to go to the uh, Walmart cash page and then we're going to click view all claimed manufacturer offers all right this is going to be a list of all the offers that you have clipped already it's always good practice to make sure you check this list prior to shopping just to make sure that your offers are still valid because the last thing you want to do is have to return something all right so we need to find the walmart cash offers now i did find this you guys somewhere on the app but i cannot remember how i found it um, so we're going to do this option. We're going to go to the Walmart cash um, option, our page. We're going to click view eligible items. I am filtering this um, just because it makes it easier to find what I'm looking for. You don't have to use filters, but I just do. Um, and then I'm going to click in store because I don't really need to see all the online offers and it just makes it easier to find what you're looking for. Um, I have this listed from low to high just because it makes it easier to, you know, if I want to do some of the best offers with the lower out of pocket. I can see that at a glance. Other than that, it's super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful in any way. If you did, don't forget to show your girl a little love by liking this video. If you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.